such too. Oh, does he not take attrition? I guess because he's a hero. One, two, two, three. All right. Um. Oh, we can't change the stance on him. Okay. I'll go scout around. Oh, hold on. Tools of judgment ready. Okay. It's getting you pictures. Tell my ogres say on. corruption is bad. Like the word, like the line they just said, corruption's bad. <laughs> corruption's bad. All right, so this guy is sitting at home now. If how many things can I recruit per turn? Only two. Ah, uh, man, oh man, oh man. I think I just save up money. If uh, if my home gets in danger, I could just save up enough to do a um, the ride of primeval glory, which gives me like a huge. Dinosaur army, which is insanely expensive. And if I don't have to spend the money on that army, then I can upgrade my main building soon. Let's get that now for income. And what's the next city? Oh, that'll be more income. That'll be more income. We need more income. We need so much more income. All right. I think we'll just do that for now. That'll put me at 5k at the start of the next turn. Makara. Hmm. Unlikely. I haven't used boats much in this game. When you disembark, does it use all remaining movement or just a large chunk of movement? It's a large chunk. <coughs> uh, but if you have a really high movement range, you can sometimes take a few steps afterwards. Uh, if you're trying to attack a city that's like right on the coast, if you land like right on the city, you can usually then attack if that's what you're trying to do. I would try and occupy a port if you can, because um, I assume Ultawan is a corrupted hellhole now. So, you'll take attrition if you don't take a city. But if nothing's close, it won't matter that much. Yeah, I mean, they can see me, so I'll just say it. I, I landed at a spot thinking I could attack the city, and it was like, you know, five feet from the shoreline. And then I was shocked to see that I could not reach uh, it. So I'm you like, tried right attacking in front of it. not a port, right? I didn't realize it wasn't a port, but I yeah, believe you're correct. Yeah. I know exactly the city you're talking about. I don't even have vision, and I can ping that shit. It's right. Let's see here. Was like the one like right here or something? <laughs> that was dead on. <laughs> yep. That was dead on. Yeah, that's where. That's uh. That's it. I didn't even realize we many, could ping from the screen. Many a Noctilus campaign was had attacking cities there. Yeah, as Fairlight would say, I'm just angrily staring out in their windows right now. <laughs> I'm pissed. I just oh, I got hold on my D and D home because Northern rats are angry at me. My D and D party is having character development. Hold on. <laughs> Your mom died. What? No. Plot. <laughs> Mm. Do I take the cool thing or do I take the practical thing? We take the cool thing! We always take the cool thing. Uh, 
Uh, Tyler says, is the goal to destroy the other team? Uh, so it's a 3v3. So here's how it is. There's like 270 factions on this map. You see, this is the whole map. All right. And th there's many, many oh, con computer control. Like just in Lizardmen, there's like five different factions of Lizardmen. So when you start out, um, basically, like they, they on this map, they all always start in the same spots. Uh, so Fairlight took control of this guy that starts here. I took control of this guy that starts here, and so on and so on. So one of the enemy players is here. One, I think, is over here, and one is, like, way up here or something. Uh, so I'm here. Now, the pink is one of the enemy players. That's Mitch. Sometimes the blue is actually an AI. Sometimes people take a long time with their turns. I like to uh, zoom in. Right so the, map. the goal is and to like, take out the other, other three players or the, set them back. Uh, so the that lanes, when we all clash on, like, turn 50, it'll be fine. I wonder at what point Fairlight's DD party does the default DD party thing and starts burning down taverns. I don't know. As long as they don't okay. split up the party. The game has now given me two heroes with the exact same name. Ooh, this guy's got a Carnosaur. I didn't realize. This guy basically has a T Rex for a mount now, chat. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Well, I guess it's a mini Does anyone off the top of their head know what Daniel's to T-Trade is? Oh, wait, no, that's not a card, sorry, that's a cold one. It can't be anything good. So that's a cold one, so it's like a raptor. You know what Archeon's was? Later it'll get bigger. It'll, uh... uh it'll doesn't he give you research rate or something? I don't know, that's what I'm asking. <laughs> well, I mean, you should have it on Boris or one of your lords, right? I mean, the thing is, is I don't know what trait score starts with, <laughs> so I don't know. Uh, it it's should probably... be able to malform, and it should tell you it's gained from defeating. Where would it be under? Uh, Just on the left-hand side, the under traits. Details on the left-hand side where his traits are. I don't think there's really anything else I can do this turn. Actually, hold on. Quick deal, trade agreement. Curious creatures. I would probably also have like a meme name, like uh, Speak. my defeat. Defeating Tugas gave me the trait air freshener. Your body shall be another husk for my crew. I wish I could see the percent chance of this working, chat. <laughs> I I can threaten these pirates to take this offer. But if they refuse it, then we go to war, and then they could just putt putt over here and attack me. But yeah, um, to further elaborate on the point of the game, uh, on turn, no earlier than turn 50, we're supposed to meet in Bretonia, which is over here ish. Okay, so Archeon's. And then it between spell turn 50 and turn 75, we all fight over Bretonia. And then, and then at turn 75, whoever owns the most of it wins. That's the rules. <laughs> Fairlight, how many armies do you have? Uh, a lot, but a lot of them are like... You know, an army with like six or seven units in it that I raised to stop a lizard incursion and then disband afterwards. They're kind of scattered all over the place. What turn number y'all on? Uh, the turn number. Oh, it's it's hidden by the. We're on thirty-four. This is turn thirty-four. So, right now, the best thing that can happen. So this is uh, Slanish. The god of debauchery. Why That's do you ask? Thing. Just because of, like, you and Mitch, your turns take way longer than everybody else, so I assumed you're microwing way more units, which made me wonder <coughs> how many armies you have. Oh, yeah, I mean, it is true in the sense that I have, like, five or six half armies instead of one or two big ones, like I assume most people do. Because Lustria is so spread out that I'm having to run all over the place and put out fires. Also... I'm just going to address the elephant in the room. The, the Ankari cults being completely undetectable is absolute cancer. 
Yeah, considering there was a cultist in my base that suddenly went missing, I probably have one in here somewhere. I hey have man, no idea. you don't know the password to get in. Absolute <laughs> cancer to have a, co a mechanic that is completely undetectable and uncounterable. Not sure you could burn your city down again. I'm okay so with he, this. Well, he's put one in like like at least five or six cities now, so unless I burn my no, entire each, empire down. Each cultist has a 15 turn cooldown. Yes, but you can instantly replace them with a new one every time you, like, hit a new city. Hey, Laura, hello, thank you for the raid. Yes. Welcome. As long as I have enough dev devotees. Kill 500 enemies in battle. Oh, Which you always that. will, because you vassalized a bunch of people. Ooh, I'm take a <laughs> I did it in Kari test campaign last night. On a quick mute here. Shut up, Michael Douglas, but that'll be Red Shadows for the fourth. This is Jonathan Vessels, the third. Because all of you back to the lab will be joy. You're saying to think it's on the way. Kirk, the speaker's up to the biggest giveaways every week. Please take a seat, but you'll only need the edge. Mmm. Uh, we are currently playing Total War Warhammer 3 with five other streamers doing a 3v3. We're doing a 3v3. Uh, this is my first time playing this game on multiplayer. But, yeah, the, uh, we are on this map, uh, the, and, uh, we have a special rule where we, everybody picked the race that their opponent had to play. So everybody tried to give their opponent... The worst thing that they, that what they thought was the worst thing. This game has like 270 factions. The enemies gave me this big fat frog. <laughs> so I'm trying to win with this. For now, I'm going to crush these guys. Doing it wrong, but seducing and enslaving all of Ulthawan was super easy. Yeah, I just, I didn't understand That's the That's a mechanics, sentence to come back so to. I was trying to do it like normal. 100 gold? Oh my god. I, I think the bigger thing though is fair, like, what was your economy like at this point in the game? Uh, uh rich. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Um, Campaign I think that by conquering it, I've actually come out better in the Faction long run. Destroyed. Because oh, I don't I think, have oh, them that seduced the and one? enslaved, I actually own most Spirit of the of provinces. Spirit of Co 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 That's like a max tier unit. Uh, Ripper Dactyl Riders. I can definitely see Sacred him. When I, when I subjugated, nice. when I, when I subjugated nice, 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 Tyrion, nice, nice. he suddenly started providing me like 2,500 per turn in tribute or something like that, okay, which so I imagine is less than you would get if you just took his cities for yourself. Corruption. Yeah. Um, this is just a skink building. Do we need this? No, we don't. We're going to destroy that. We do not need that. Okay. Uh, what about the corruption here? What? Okay, I expected this island to be filled with Slanish corruption. Why is it filled with vampire corruption? Noctilus came over here and wanted to be a little bitch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and vampire co uh, coast. Well, I just, I went in and I fought elves, and then I'm like, why am I dying? Vampires? It's all part of the great plan, Muckluck. I uh, clearly. Artisan of pain. All right, so there's vampire grudge all over. What are your allies playing? Yeah, I think the reason uh, that people think that Nakari is bad for multiplayer is just because he does not resolve well. Okay, so Bomjus, they forced him to play uh, Goldtooth, who's an ogre. And then Fairlight was forced to play... Hey, Fairlight, someone in my chat asked me... Oh, shoot, he's got me deafened. Can someone tell me the name of the uh, faction Fairlight's playing? Um, Empire? Hunts Marshall's Expedition. Yeah. Thank you. All right, so that. Fairlight's playing that. He starts right here. Okay, so we just destroyed this city. So we got some level ups. Uh, yeah, and it kind of became weird, because the lizard guys, they can't build in cold climate. I can't expand north. South of me is my ally, so he's got me blocked. So my choices were take the sea route, which wraps around and drops you on the other side of the world, or go across here and just get into some PvP with this guy. So I opted to do this, and I'm praying it doesn't backfire on me. Um, let's see. This guy is 14. At 18, he gets a T-Rex mount. What do we want? What do we want? What do we want? Control. Sorry, another reason my turns are taking a while is because, like, I'm playing Dungeons & Dragons. <laughs> I have, like, these five heroes, and, like, every turn, they have, like, personal dilemmas they need to solve. I've noticed. Oh, so I thought you were just saying that to be funny. Okay, you're serious. No, no, that's, like, this, this faction's mechanic is Wolfheart and his legendary hunters. It's, like, 
you get Marcus himself, and then he gets like four unique heroes with their own unique like storylines and such that they're doing. Uh... Ooh, and he gets an epic weapon. Wait, don't want Blade Master? That's melee attack. Okay. Let's get weapon strength. Foxy. Bound spell banishment. Two times per battle, you can cast a giant vortex for free. Sure. What's the next thing? Ruination of cities. Two times per battle, you can cast this big thing. So you decide your team should have no comment. So yeah, two of us. Well, it's funny because like the, the one guy on our team that they were like, uh, you have to play ogres, he cheered. And he's like, fools, I main ogres. However, he didn't main Goldtooth. He mained the other ogres. But he wasn't opposed to playing them. And Fairlight cheered when he got this guy. And then we gave them... What was it Zinch? Uh, no, sorry, not Zinch. Sl Slanish, uh, the the Schmexy one, and then um, one of the Tomb Kings. It was like an undead mummy lady, and someone else. Uh, they've got somebody else. I, I I totally let my teammates do all the decision making when it came to like the bands and stuff because I I didn't know what was going on. Try to assassinate. Kelly Diaz, the undead lady? Probably. Probably. What happens if this hero hits a building? Damage walls. No, we don't need that. Hinder replenishment. Lord of Slash. Ah, Mitch, I gotta DM you. Yes. Mark, at what point do you betray Fairlight? <laughs> no. No, 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 no. Need more eco. All right. Next turn, I'll have Saurus shields if I need those. Apparently, um, killing Daniel is really great for diplomacy. Uh, yeah. Let me see about that. Oh, is it give you like bonus relations with like uh, demon factions? No, you get a massive bonus with Kislev factions. Oh, well, that makes Should sense. I keep yeah, because he's. All right, so we got from that quest whatever, we did right? last turn. Yeah, in the prologue. Um, three Sorry, blessed Saurus warriors. I could grab all those right now. All right, and then uh, yeah, see see the message that I typed up there. I think that you can do that. I well. will. Okay. You know what's so dumb is that I know I win this battle, then I'm probably gonna have to fight. But I'm gonna have to, I'm only gonna have to fight it purely because of the blunderbussies. Fuck you, Jorps! Futile. All right, so we see there's two armies here, but they're mostly crap. Well, I, I shouldn't say crap. It's just a lot of tier one stuff. I'm pretty sure that's a devotee army that just vanished. Saw that, Mitch. What? <laughs> pretty sure uh, your devotee army just faded out before my eyes. You doing a, trying to do an ambush? Mm -hmm. Or do, just some secret sexy times. Oh no, we don't believe in secret second times. It's public. <laughs> Savor the public is crazy. <laughs> I was sitting here actually looking at one of his armies and taking stock of what units he has and trying to make a decision, and then it just faded away. And I was like, hmm. Oh, 
So indecisive about spending my money, chat. At least while my two armies are trapped on this tile, the corruption will be going down. It'll be getting reduced a lot. The question, though, is... There's this army here. I'm pretty sure he has a second army that's an ambush stance, so it's, like, invisible right there. So, I don't know, maybe I just go north and try to avoid him. Uh, there's a... Well, that's a small army. That's not that bad. Uh, how funny it would be if Cody were out as a playable race of the X-Pac uh, and they just never Mitch, address like they do with a Griffin? recently kill an Ice Queen? Highly doubt that they're gonna <laughs> no. do that. She's Highly doubt that. I federated them and she's dead. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, they've been having some problems up there. I'm surprised. Uh, um... I'm like sitting here like looking for like the units and the armies like looking around their cities. I'm like, oh, it's gotta be here somewhere, right? Nope, she's just dead. Oh, Let's see, do you wanna... Wise to visit a witch on her. No. I foresaw that you would... <laughs> Slant spells are sheep conjurings next to the power of... The... Uh, I have no time, so make it quick. Trade agreement. And then were you uh, able should to I threaten her? take that city there? Is that her? I know oh, you just landed right. this turn, but sometimes I think you can force the interaction by clicking it again. Yeah, I tried. It wouldn't let me. Ow. Oh. <laughs> I'll get it this turn, though. Right. Next turn, I mean. Yeah. I'm also getting really close to being able to uh, confed the other ones as well. Mm -hmm. Okay, nice. Yeah, killing Daniel, like, I was actually closer to confederating him than I was her, but then killing Daniel just made my diplomacy go flying with her. Prince of Pain. Do you know a screenshot? So chat, the city is gonna have a garrison. This army is here, and there's an invisible army here. So I think I just go that way. How far north on that area before you get climate blocked? Um, that's a good question. Uh, Fairlight, you remember you told me about climate yesterday? Yeah. This island I'm on, is any part yeah. of it in frozen climate? No. Okay, thank you. All right, there we go, Tamanson. Apparently we're okay. It's by the equator. No, there's only, um, the whole thing is temperate island except the northwestern coast, right where that ping is, has like two or three settlements that are considered oh, yeah, barren. Weird. Yeah, it's wasteland. And there's yeah. also uh, one that's magical forest. Oh yeah, the, the one in the very middle. The, for the forest one's actually the only one I knew about because I've played the treants before.
Yeah, right here, there's like a gigantic tree city, like a world tree looking thing. There's like half a dozen of them or so on the map that the uh, Wood Elves really, really want. That image is a good reference. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, there we go. What is... what is that? The Grey Piece. Now I'm wondering if I could have gone up that way. Hold on, what? Mountain. And then this bit up here is Chaotic Wasteland. Can I live in a mountain? I have no idea. Uh... Where was that screen that showed where you can live? Oh, here it is. Desert, savanna, jungle... Oh. Ah, too late. Maybe I can do this. Mountain. Oh, yeah, no, okay, we hate mountain. Nope, I... I can build there, but I might just be bleeding money by hey, doing Lexi, it. Hey, Lexi, how do you feel about uh, the Chaos Dwarves? What's up? How do you feel about the Chaos Dwarves? Oh, Astro. kill them. They don't like me. Kill them. Are they at war with you? They're not at war with me, no. Okay, I'm going to take the deal then. They're offering me a lot of money. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we're not at war or anything, and they're probably not going to attack <laughs> Kill them, but they have money. Oh, that's fine, too. Yeah. Come on, dude. You're <laughs> great. Chat, we got a picture of their sneaky army. Um, Lexi? Yeah? Lexi? Yeah, I don't really know what all just happened there. Uh, we need to talk about that. <laughs> I'll fix it in a second because I'm about <laughs> to get some fed. No. We need to talk about yep. that. <laughs> We're working on it. We're working on it. We're working on it. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Oh. Hold on. Okay. Yeah. If it works out that way, that's great. I'm happy with that. Yeah. 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 See, you see what I'm saying? Yeah. Ni ni nice <laughs> manipulation. We're good with that. Mm -hmm. And then I just sent you that, so we're we're good. All right. Cool. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> works out. Works right. out. Okay. 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 All right. So this is another high elf base chat. This is not Slanisha's stuff. My two armies can auto resolve this. That he was at war with you because he was at war. So we're gonna take this, <laughs> and you can yeah, see we took a very, very wrong. tiny amount of damage to everything. And mm. I just saw the opportunity with how many, what, like how much of a diplomacy buff I got from it's doing that. So I was like, all right, let's just do this. Then. Uh, I'm gonna head occupy that. I need a spot where I'm not getting hit by the corruption on the ground, so I need to do that. And I sent you the peace treaty. I should try. Yep, thank you. I will accept it in a moment. Question for y'all. If you've got an ancillary that increases casualty replenishment rate and you put it on like five heroes in an army, does it stack? Um, a lot of those ancillaries that say that will be restricted to the Lord only. So I would double check that you even can put it on a hero. It auto-equipped to a hero when I looted it, and it's like the third one I got. That's why I asked. Oh, I mean, if it lets you, then yeah, they should stack. Okay. 